So, well, one of the questions that we posed at the beginning of the course was, you know, why do people do terrible things? Why do societies degenerate? And the answer to that, as far as I can tell, is because people don't, they, people decide to not attend to their knowledge of their own errors. Or errors in the situation they find themselves. I think maybe it's they don't attend to their knowledge of holes in being. That might be a more reasonable way of putting it. And because they refuse to attend, they allow the structure to get rotten, and they allow themselves to get weak. And the more rotten the structure and the weaker the people that compose it, the more rapidly it degenerates into further rottenness, and the, the quicklier everything descends into something that's absolutely horrifying. Hell, for all intents and purposes. And so, the alternative to that, as far as I can tell, isn't so much specifically political as it is psychological, although I think at this level of analysis, those two things merge. You know, you work on correcting the errors that are accessible to you in your own life that you can correct and that you know how to correct, and simultaneously, you have the best chance of revivifying your culture and keeping, you know, the horrors of tyranny and, and unbridled nature at bay. You know, and I would also say that's the fundamental human story. We've been working on that story for our entire evolutionary history. And so maybe it's wrong, but that's the one we've based our survival on. And, you know, there's always the possibility that it's not wrong. That's it, guys. Nice talking to you. <laughs>